Good morning, people. Glad you joined for another video. How you doing? If you don't have something to drink, I suggest you grab something right now because today we are going to talk about how to improve your editing workflow so that you can save more time and be more efficient when it comes to video editing. With no further ado, let's get into the video. <sighs> Edit in a 1080p timeline. Editing 4K clips in a 1080p timeline will definitely help with the performance, especially if your Mac is struggling with editing 4K clips. Hit Command J to bring up the project settings and select Modify. Here you can change your video format at any time. I recommend editing 4K clips in a 1080p timeline and changing the video format setting in the end to export in 4K. Adjustment layers. Use adjustment layers to apply effects to your shot. This will save you a lot of time. For example, when I color grade, I use the adjustment layer to apply the final look to my video. To do so, I drag the adjustment layer on top of the entire clip. I then add the LUT and notice how it affects all of the shots beneath the adjustment layer. These adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro X, but are easy to install. I will leave a download link in the video description below. Paste attributes. Let's say you made multiple adjustments to a clip and want to apply those effects to another clip. Normally, this process would take a while, especially if you have more than one clip. But with the paste attributes option, you simply select the clip, press Command C and select the clip you want to apply it to. Then hit Command Shift V. This will bring up the paste attributes window that allows you to select effects that you want to apply to the clip. Range selection. I use this tool a lot to select the range uh, from a music to adjust the volume. This can be very useful for talking head videos where you want to lower the volume as your subject starts talking. Go to your toolbar and select range selection or press R. I now have the ability to adjust the audio levels by clicking and dragging it up or down. As you can see, just the highlighted area is affected by it. Another great use for the selection tool is for exporting parts of the video on your timeline. Maybe you want to export a part of the video for your Instagram story. Use the range selection tool to highlight the part of the clip you would like to export and hit Command E or click on the upper right icon to select export. External hard drives. To have a better performance and save space on your Mac, I would recommend editing on an external hard drive. On my desk, I use the 8TB GTEC drive, and when I'm on the go, I use the 500GB SSD from Samsung to edit off my laptop. Make sure to buy an external hard drive that is made for video editing and has a fast data transfer speed. I also have a 24 terabyte drive that I store all of my finished projects to. If you want to learn more about this, I have a tutorial on how to back up your videos so that they stay safe. All right, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and let me know what your strategies are to editing faster in Final Cut Pro X. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would appreciate that. Take care and see you the next time.